Hello, Galaxy. I'm Chris Perillo, and you're watching the Locker Gnome Daily Report, or TLDR for short. Today, I wanted to give you my first impressions of this. Not just the case, but the uh, the item that's in the case. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus, which I had previously unboxed earlier this afternoon. That's a separate video. Uh, and then I'm streaming this particular first impressions video uh, after talking about it for a little bit live on Twitch which is where I'm broadcasting uh, right now. You can join me every night on Twitch at 6 p.m. Pacific. Uh, I, I haven't had, uh, you know, a lot of time with this particular product, but the impetus to even consider this, given that it's been out for a year and there's the potential of there being a new one released at the beginning of next year, uh, I'm not really happy with uh, iPad OS. And the iPad Pro itself has been fine, but I just knew that I, I, I needed to find an alternative. My choices were between an iPad and Android. I only had those two choices, binary choices for my particular use case. And so I knew I had to try it, if only to find out whether or not it was going to work. I, I'm here to, to, to TLDR you and uh, let you know that it is more likely than not going to work. It is not a perfect replacement for an iPad. Uh, I will certainly miss 5G or any kind of mobile connectivity. However, I'll be able to uh, connect this uh, as I'm uh, you know, traveling to uh, my, my smartphone and, and, and tether it uh, wirelessly. Um, but I do believe this is a keeper. I believe I'm going to be selling my iPad Pro, my pretty much almost brand new iPad Pro with 5G. It seems like I just got it. Like, how, how long ago? It wasn't that long ago, was it? Does it doesn't seem like that. Uh, but I've been using it uh, near daily for a variety of reasons, and I'm, I'm pretty much able to do the same thing with virtually the same software, if not the same software, on this particular product. Is this a viable replacement for an iPad? Let me go ahead and, and run down my list of impressions. Uh, it's generally zippy. Uh, it's as responsive as I think Android could be on a tablet. You're never going to hear me say that it, it, it could be less zippy, uh, but for the most part, uh, I find that the experience on uh, on this is smooth enough. Certainly, that's aided not just by the 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 the, the, uh, the device itself, but certainly the uh, screen uh, running at 120 hertz, 120 fps. Uh, it is not an adaptive refresh rate, but uh, I don't know if that concerns me at this point. I couldn't find another viable alternative. So the fact that it was zippy uh, was good. I have run into jank. I have run into uh, you know certain snags on, on this device. Different kind of snags than the snags I've run into on the iPad. The snags I run into the iPad don't ever seem to get fixed. Uh, and so the snags I've run into here could very well be limitations in, in hardware, if not lack of optimization in software. I've seen some transitions jank, meaning it's more on Samsung uh, than it is on uh, its underpinnings, Android. Uh, but for the most part, yeah, I, I, I could find myself uh, working with this more uh, and, and be happier with this than I was with uh, the iPad. It's a good screen. Uh, seemingly, at least in, in this environment, which is a common environment, it's bright enough. I don't really do a lot of work outside, so I'm not expecting that that's going to be too much of an issue. I do believe it's going to work for my needs. Uh, software is, well, it's Android, yes, and uh, many, if not most of the apps that I've tried on here do work. There have been a couple of issues that I've run into, uh, some app compatibility, uh, but I'm still working my way through optimizing uh, and, and that's specifically like learning how to use uh, the apps in pop-up uh, view or uh, using Samsung Dex. I'll get to that in a second. Uh, windowing, if you will, the, the applications that are available uh, to me. Uh, you know, so the, the concern that, well, there are no tablet optimized Android apps. That is correct. You are entirely correct. But I, I'm also going to tell you that I think that for my needs, if I can window the app, I'll be fine. If I can't window the app, there's an alternative. Uh, I mean, it's got a web browser on here. I'm good to go. That's pretty much everything that I needed. Uh, and then, of course, some other stuff. Uh, but, um, you know, it's uh, it's still very Samsung-y and needs to be de, de samsung -ified in terms of the software that it throws in your face, and that doesn't take any time at all. Uh, and in terms of the optimization, if you only used an Android tablet a decade ago, you're not using a current one. 
The S7 is prop. I'm sorry, the S7 Plus. There is a difference. Is probably um, the closest thing you're you're going to find to a, a viable Android tablet. They need to keep working on it, uh, and I want them to keep working on it because this is this is viable. Go into a store and try it. Seriously, try to window an app. Uh, it, because you can, and there are different uh, applications you can use, like GoodLock, to further customize your device. I've got to step through that uh, here uh, over the next day or so. Uh, you know, learning how to use this like the device it is, not trying to turn it into an iPad, which it is not. And so that means that I'm going to have to start using uh, an S Pen, and I'm not sure I really planned on using an S Pen. This wasn't the the deciding factor for me. Um, and I know a lot of people use it, but I, I'm not necessarily a stylus user, never really have been. Uh, customizing it is going to take a little bit, but I have a feeling I'll get there sooner rather than later. Um, I'm getting used to the keyboard shortcuts. I do have here, this is a detachable keyboard. Uh, it's a very loose connection. This is a somewhat of a concern. It, it snaps in nicely, but is, is not always perfectly aligned. I mean, it seems like it's going to fall off easily that's a shortcoming given that you'd, you'd pay an extra couple hundred dollars to get this thing but i needed the keyboard for my use case uh it will i think work well enough for how it is that i plan on using it um you know even traveling around i mean just you've got to flip it together like a case so the case hasn't been as impressive as the device itself uh, but I know there are alternative cases out there as well, but I decided to go full Samsung. The keyboard shortcuts are going to take some getting used to. Uh, that usually is the case when you work from one platform to another. That's the issue when you work with Windows, Mac OS, etc. So now I've got some layouts to, to memorize, especially copy and paste. They offer no customization for the keyboard at all, like shortcuts or what have you. I mean, in terms of like remapping, like you might be able to do on Chrome OS, which is kind of unfortunate. You'd think it'd be simple to do. Uh, I do love the windowed aspect uh, of, of this tablet more so than uh, how iPad manages apps, which is to say, I like how Android works on this tablet more than I like how iPad OS works. And this doesn't even have the latest One UI 3.1.1 update that's, I guess, just been released with a few more multitasking updates. Uh, so I'm still learning how to, to use it, but just out of the gate, I'm like, this is nice. I like this more. This is a good tablet experience. It's not a great one. Uh, it, it, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I haven't used it long enough to give it a grade, but like I said, I've been enjoying it. It doesn't have me ready to pack it up and ship it back, uh, at least right now. Give me a few more uh, days, if not weeks. Uh, but it's it's been kind of fun to play with. Uh, Samsung DeX is uh, an amazing thing that Samsung's been developing to turn a tablet into a desktop mode. Uh, so this has got two modes on there, and if anything, I, I kind of wish Apple stole something from that playbook, because Samsung DeX needs to be continued. It needs to be developed further. It is a great idea. They've executed well enough for now, but they need to continue to refine it. I've noticed a few different flaws, and I'm not the only one who has. But Samsung DeX is absolutely worth trying. Uh... Let's see here if I've missed anything. Now, I've pretty much covered like everything that I wanted to cover uh, in, in terms of an initial impressions. My initial impressions are positive. I will continue to um, uh, customize. I will continue to use. I will continue to come up with, uh, you know, I guess a, a full on review. Uh, I've only had light usage, uh, including during the live stream. I, I used the camera in, in the NDI application to broadcast what uh, the camera saw uh, as what was being 3D printed. Uh, some Star Wars pumpkin faces, go figure. Star Wars, naturally. Uh, but yeah, I, initial impressions are positive. If you thought the iPad was the only tablet out there and Samsung wasn't on your radar, I recommend the 7 Plus because it's probably the best experience, if only for that screen. 120 hertz, 120 FPS. It's that or bust as far as I'm concerned. and can tell you, just in using this in this brief time, uh, I, I will continue likely to use this. I'll know, I have to know within two weeks whether I'm going to send it back. Uh, paid for it. Uh, I'm kind of already looking forward to the next Tab Plus model they release, or whatever they call it, because this has got a lot of promise and potential, and it needs a lot more refinement uh, for it to get there, but it's definitely well on its way, and it's good enough for me, and I'm happier with this already than I have been with the iPad software for God knows how long. 